How are you, my friends? This uh, video is presenting five old exams questions related to natural exponential functions, which is lecture number three in pre-calculus course. So question number one, we have to graph the function f of x e to the power minus x minus one, and then minus one on the line. And then we have to find where the graph is below the x, where the graph is decreasing, and find the range. Now, usually we have to rearrange the function here because we see on the power here, minus x minus one, it's not clear if this shifting is right or left. So I take a minus common factor, always you do that. In the bracket, the coefficient of the x should be one here, see positive x. If we have x plus one, that means on the left. If we have x minus seven or x minus five, it is on the right or x minus one even on the right. So this minus is the reflection. So I start with the natural exponential function, which is e to the power x. We know the graph will pass through zero and one. Then there is e to the power minus x. So that's a reflection in the y. So this one is the graph of e to the power x. You reflect it on the y axis becomes e to the power minus x. This is the graph. Now this one here in number two, step number two, you shift on the left one unit. See this one exactly, it will go one unit on the left there. And then you shift down, see the minus one outside, down, so the horizontal asymptote is minus y equals minus one. So this is the final graph of the f. You see this black here? That's the final graph on the f. Now we can start answering. So we need x intercept, put y zero. So zero is there e to the power minus x minus one is equal to minus one. See this one, e to the power something is equal to one, so the power should be zero. So x will be minus one. We so say this is the x-intercept. Where is the graph above the x? Above the x here is above the x, from minus infinity to minus one. Decreasing, decreasing, all decreasing, see? There is no increasing part. Minus infinity plus infinity. The range will be starting from the horizontal minus one until infinity, both are OP. Now here we need to graph some ugly function, big, huge function here, but, but make sure here you try to simplify it first. Simplify it, you multiply by FOIL method, by normal multiplication, distribution, any method you like, then we subtract and we simplify, let's see. Let's see, we multiply here by FOIL method. Remember when you multiply with the same base, you add the powers. Just I will start like this with you, e to the power x times two to the power two, e to the power two x. So we put a two there, then we have add to add the power x, two x, three x. So we continue like that. This one times this one, three, e to the power four x. See, now we continue here, e times e, both are two x, two x, four x, and there is a two. And this one we have a three e to the power five x. Same thing we multiply here in the bracket, remember, in the bracket. Then we have a minus. This one you can use the formula a plus b squared or you can leave it. We will see now we will have some cancellation. Here first we change all the signs. We change all the signs with minus and then we subtract. So when you subtract, we get e to the power three x plus two e to the power four x plus e to the power five x when you simplify. If you take e to the power x as a common factor, then you have this one. See this one already, a plus b squared. This part on the numerator, the same as this one in the squared. Even if you expand this, e to the power x squared, plus two times this times this, plus this one squared, you will get the same quantity. So all this is equal all that. So let me just mention something here. Either you can expand the denominator, it will be the same expression, so you cancel it. Or you make complete trinomial here, perfect, squared, you make the factoring, and then you cancel all this. So the function now, 
e to the power x. Believe it or not, all this function, I'll show it back to you here, all the question here, all this is f of x is equal e to the power x, which we know the graph is an increasing exponential natural, the basis e, it will pass through zero and one. Let's find the domain of this function. f of x is equal 10 divided by one minus e to the power minus 0 0.5 x. Now this is a rational function here, something over something. So the domain set of all real numbers except the values of x where the denominator is zero. What will make the denominator zero here? So one minus e to the power minus 0 0.5 x, let's make it zero and check. Take this on the other side, so is equal to one. e to the power something is equal one, that means this power is zero. See e to the power zero is one. So divide by minus 0 0.5 x will be zero. So we cannot accept zero, it will make the denominator zero. So the domain for this will be all real numbers except zero or minus infinity to zero, open, union zero open to infinity. Given this function f of x e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by two, is this function even or odd? We have to check and find the image of three. The image of three, we have seen many times, just take the value of x three and replace it there in the function. Now, if we look at the uh, solution of question number four, we have the function f of x is equal e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by two. We have seen in the algebra course to check even an odd, you have to replace x by minus x in the whole function. So I start here in details, f of minus x is equal e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus minus x divided by two. Simplify more, <clears throat> here we have to multiply minus and minus x becomes e to the power x. See, this is not the same as the function f. So I try to rearrange it, take a minus common factor, then we can write e to the power x minus e to the power minus x. I can see now this is the same as the f. So I can write minus f of x. Now look at this here, f of minus x equals minus f of x, for sure that's an odd function. Just to remind you, if we have f of minus x, and then at the end you will get f of x, that's an even function. Now find the image of three, just replace three in the function. So f of three means e, e cubed minus e to the power minus three divided by two. Just try to simplify it. This is one over e cubed. Here make the LCD e cubed. So this is e to the power six minus one divided by two times e cubed. That is a number, the image of three. All right. Now given this function, five minus e to the power minus absolute value of x. Sometimes you have absolute value on the x. I mentioned that before. Sometimes you have absolute value on the whole function. Please, you can visit lecture number two to see more examples. How do we graph the absolute values? Let's graph this one here and find the range. I will do it in details. So this is the function we have, see, five minus e to the power minus x. That's the function, we call it here f. Now I will make, since we have absolute value on the x, I advise you, you can make two cases. See the case here on the right and then on the left. On the right, see this is the y-axis here because absolute value on the x. So I will make on the right side x greater than or equal to zero. Now we know from algebra that the absolute value of x is equal to x if x positive. Remember here always absolute value of x is equal minus x if x is less than zero which means x is negative. That's the that's definition. Now, if x greater than zero, absolute value of x is equal to x. So I put here only x. So it becomes five minus 
e to the power minus x. I would call this b of x, which is like blue graph. Remember the blue graph, I take the positive x, that's a condition, the positive x. Positive x means on the right of y axis, positive x, from zero to infinity, positive x. Okay, so to graph this, you take e to the power x as we did before, the basic is the black, see? And then the minus outside here is a reflection on the x-axis. Then there's a minus in the x, we make reflection on the y. Then we ship this one up five units. So the blue is the final graph of this b of x. Now, same thing we do for the negative. Absolute value of x is minus x. So when you, I replace it here, it becomes minus and minus. So five minus e to the power x. So I draw e to the power x, the basic, the black basic dash. Then I have a minus outside. So that's a reflection in the x axis, then shifting up. So this is the red, red r of x. In the red, I need the negative x. See the negative x, negative x. Remember on the left of y axis. So for the blue, this is the blue here. So I take this part in the black and the red, this one is the red. I take the left side because the condition less than zero. So now this is what I draw in the previous slide. And now here I take the function f by itself. See, I take here part of this exponential on the positive x, another part on the negative x. So look at the range now closed from four to five open. That's the range of the function f, this one here. So this is f, this is f, this is the final graph. This is the range of the final graph. Now, if, if you can do it in another way, it's, it's good, but this is one of the nice ways. Now, these are the answers, again, of all these five questions that we have tried together. Now for other examples, please, if you want to see more examples, methods of graphing, other ideas, you can visit the video on pre-calculus course, lecture number three, which we call it natural exponential function. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.